you can reduce your risk of death from cardiorespiratory illnesses by 10%. That's not just me telling you, that's the research, that's the egghead doctors. 10%. I'm going to show you why VO2 max is the best fitness metric, why it can be used to predict your longevity. I'll show you how to train it and how to test it. Even if you haven't got one of those crappy watches that congratulate you when you stand up or you're over 50 and you think, I can't push it anymore coach, please help me. VO2 max is the maximum volume of oxygen you can use during exercise. Okay, it's not what you're getting in, it's what you can use. So think of it as your engine. The bigger your VO2 max, the bigger your engine, the more power, the more longer you can hold that higher speed the longer you can cycle. The longer your longevity is, the smaller your VO2 max. Well, the closer you are to that one-way ticket to the pearly gates. Hmm. A low VO2 max is as risky to your health as smoking. But I don't see anyone on the news or anyone screaming about VO2 max in a way that they do about smoking or drinking, or all sorts of things. Maybe it's my job. Maybe it's my job now to tell you that this is a serious issue, but it's one that you've got great control over. <laughs> because you've got your bike, and you've got the desire and the will to get out there, or stay indoors, whatever you fancy, and work out your fitness. Maybe if I spoke about VO2 max as the doctor. So what if I told you that VO2 max is measured in milliliters of oxygen, a small volume of oxygen per kilogram of body weight. So therefore, the fatter you are, the chances of having a high VO2 max decrease, but it's measured in minutes of exercise. So that's gonna help us when we come to measure it. I want you to think of this, uh, chappies. If you increase your VO2 max, you actually improve the efficiency of your heart, your lungs, and your muscles all working together in one great harmony. Yes, they're all getting a little bit jiggy and a little bit boogie with it, working together. So it doesn't matter if you have large muscles and a low VO2 max, you are not improving your chances of improving your longevity. It is like being one of those cyclists that get a brand new set of wheels and think they're going to be faster just because they have big stickers. I have no idea what accent that was. Okay, right. Okay, let's move on. How do I test it, coach? Well, the premium measurement for VO2 testing is in a performance lab or a university. Maybe you've got one close to you, contact them, sign up for the test. You're gonna to have to pay for it probably and you're gonna to have to keep repeating that. So it's difficult to do, but you need power, okay? You need power and there's two ways of doing that. You can have power pedals, power crank, you've got them attached to your bike, boom, great but you don't want to go to those lengths, do you? But you've got an indoor bike. In Bulletproof Cycling, I give every member a premium account on Training Peaks for free. That gives them access to Training Peaks Virtual, which gives them virtual power, and that's good enough. So here's what you've got to do. You need to have your five minute best power, your peak power for five minutes. So just set yourself up, warm up, hard as you can, measure your five minutes. Then what you do is you multiply that number by 10.8. Divide that number by your weight and add seven. And that is your max VO2. Easy to do time after time after time. Now inside Bulletproof, I've got a specific test that's a little bit more accurate that you follow. And then I've got a calculator inbuilt that punches out all the numbers for you. So it's easy to follow, but that five minute test, it's gonna give you a starting point and something that is consistently easy for you to perform. Find a local climb, find a little loop where you can add that five minutes to, but use the same course each time you measure. Okay, that reminds me, before we move on, if you've never tested your VO2 max, that's like never checking your tire pressure and wondering why you're still slow. Hmm. Okay, so if we can test it, we can train it. And we're gonna create the magic formula of zone two plus zone five. Those zone two, long, steady, conversational rides, whereby you're going to 90 minutes, 
two hours, three hours and beyond, you finish those rides knowing that you could easily do another half hour. The zone five rides, we're going to power into short explosive efforts. We're going to manipulate the recovery to reduce and reduce between those repeated efforts. If you're speaking in them, you're cheating and you're not doing them properly. So how do you train your zone five? Let me give you three progressive methods now that I use inside Bulletproof Community. Okay, workout number one is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, a classic VO2 booster. You're gonna work at 120 to 130% of your FTP for the on phase. I want you to do six to eight intervals per block, four minutes off, and then repeat the block. If you can get yourself to five of these blocks over a period of time, great. No more than five is needed. But here's the catch. If you drop below 120% for any of the efforts, work out over. Don't stretch yourself too far because the stimulus is not high enough to be pushing up your VO2 max. Because this effort will keep your heart rate very high during the on blocks. Try it. It's a winner. Okay, let's move to workout two. You take the basis that you did in workout one, the 30 on, 30 off. Let's say you were doing eight of those efforts. We're gonna split it down the middle, four and four, and you're going to squeeze the first four and then stretch the last four. So what I mean is, the first four efforts are 30 seconds on, then we half the recovery. We squeeze it to 15 seconds. Yeah, that's 30 on, 15 off back to 30 on. By squeezing the recovery, you make the availability of oxygen limited. Therefore, you gotta work harder to extract that oxygen. You get the idea? Oxygen uptake, VO2 max, the maximum you can work with. You're trying to squeeze that oxygen out to be able to keep the power going. In the second half of that block, you go back to 30 seconds recovery. So you start to stretch the recovery. Your heart rate will plateau out. So on, off, the exact same way as workout one, but you're squeezing that front end. Take the four minutes recovery between the block and do as many blocks as you can. You fall below 120% FTP, boom, workout over. That's okay if you don't make it all the way through. You're learning. How far can you go? Okay, this brings us to workout three, and these are longer VO2 sessions. And I like to start the longer ones at two minutes. They never go over five minutes, but for a lot of my older riders, I keep it between two and three minutes. Now the power comes down to 110%. That's your cutoff point. If you fall below that, the workout stops. You can try and hold 120% if you want, but we're not necessarily manipulating the recovery here. So if you start with two minutes on, you can have anywhere between two and four minutes off. The drill here is about holding the higher power to place that incredible level of overload on your high-end aerobic system. So two minutes on, two to four minutes off, you can build it up to three minutes, you can build it up to four or five minutes on, but do no more ever than 20 minutes of total interval time. So don't make the mistake that most older riders make. They just fanny around in zone three. Yeah, because they're thinking that their time is short, everything they do has got to feel that little bit harder. Now you've got to be able to go slow and enjoy it because by going slow, you then have the opportunity to go really hard in those zone five efforts. I mean, so hard that sometimes it scares you a little bit. What is zone two doing? It's developing your mitochondrial efficiency. What does that mean, coach? It means that when lactate is produced in the hard efforts, you have got a superior mitochondrial efficiency. It cleans it up because your mitochondrial is using lactate as fuel. So your clearance of lactate increases. So yeah, you can go faster and harder and your VO2 max is going up as well. Oh, and you're bloody enjoying those zone two rides more and more now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting further coach. I'm actually thinking of riding to my mother-in-law's who lives 150 miles away. Are you crazy, man? But these are the things that open up. New adventures, new opportunities, and new you. 
A new VO2 max, longer longevity. Yeah. It's a winning formula, isn't it? And you've got the idea about VO2 max, haven't you? How important it is. Look, you are the king, the queen of your world, okay? Your world. Take it serious, please, because it's super simple to do and it's fun. You get that winning formula right. Hey, look, check out the win from Russ inside the community. Wanted something a little bit more. Push him a little bit harder. He's now in the 1% club and he's only realizing now that he's just started. That's exactly what I want. So if I get that message across in this video and you have not clicked the subscribe link already, then hey, don't worry. <laughs> I don't care really. I just want you making sure that you're moving forward. So I've got a presentation for you if you want. Want a little bit of a deeper dive? Click that first link. I go into this concept a lot deeper. Give you a little bit more time. But if you think you're like Russ, you want something different, something a little bit extra, click the second link. I'll give you seven days free trial inside my Bulletproof community so you can see what the hell goes on in there. Anyway, my friend's still waiting for me. And yep, it's still raining. So it's gonna be a bike and jacket cycle today. But hey, that doesn't matter. I forgot. You want a little bit more from me? There's a video floating around that really dives deeper into how you can help your longevity. Go and click it. Go on. I dare you. I dare you. Go on. Go on. Right. I'm going now. Bye. Keep smiling. Keep spinning. See you next time.